Sebastian Köhler, Berlin Institute of Health. Phenotype-Driven Analysis of Genomic Variation. Um, hello. Um, so an important component to enable precision medicine, or at least a more precise medicine, um, will be to have tools and methods to mathematically compute similarity between sets of clinical features of patients or diseases. Because in the end, what we're trying is to correlate the similarity of clinical features with genomic variation. And so around eight years ago, we started the Human Phenotype Ontology, HPO, which is an ontology of um, almost 12,000 clinical features and all their semantic relationships to each other. And the HPO has a lot of functionality, but for this short talk, there are two important things that I want to mention. The first thing is that it allows to compute semantic similarity for sets of clinical features. So for example, it enables to find the most similar disease based on the clinical features of the patients. And the second thing is that it allows to associate human genes with individual clinical features. So here, for example, the gene APC is linked to small intestine carcinoid because there is a disease that is uh, caused by mutations in APC, and uh, patients with that disease do have small intestine carcinoid. And I'm telling you this for the use case I want to uh, present here, and which is, um, so assume we have a patient with uh, several clinical features, and we assume that uh, genomic variation is of major importance in that patient case. So we sequence that patient, um, in our case here, exome data, and what we find is usually a lot of variation. These are these small yellow uh, things. And in a standard clinical pipeline, one would first filter these variants by, for example, filtering out all the common variants, and afterwards assign a variance score to each of the variants based on genomic features such as allele frequency or conservation. But the point here is that such a pipeline does not take the clinical features into account. And so we have added an additional analysis step um, which uh, goes like this. In the first step, you um, associate the patient with uh, the clinical features, and coding these as HPO terms. And uh, in a second step, you um, do the same for the variants by looking at the gene in which the <coughs> variant is located and then um, associate HPO codes there as well. And in the last step, you um, calculate using the semantic similarity um, a phenotypic relevance score um, between the patient's clinical symptoms and the variant uh, associated HPO terms. And in the last step, you combine the variant score and the phenotypic relevance score, and we could show in several papers that a combination of these two, uh, variant score and phenotypic relevance score, is the, the key point. So uh, thank you very much. <laughs>